Hey, I'm Zach, welcome to 90 Second Church. If you like these little tidbits that we do, take a moment to subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Facebook. We update both places with more videos every single week. We've just begun a new series, it's called Here's Hope, when it takes us through the book of 1 Thessalonians. Today, we're looking at the hope found in Thessalonians 1, verse 4. Let's read it. We know, dear brothers and sisters, that God loves you and has chosen you to be his own people. That's it. <laughs> it's a simple statement, but believe it or not, this idea that we have been chosen to be God's people is one of the large themes that arcs throughout Scripture. And in fact, here's where we first find it stated. It's Deuteronomy, way back in the Old Testament, 7, verses 7 and 8. Let's read it. The Lord did not set his heart on you and choose you because you are more numerous than other nations, for you are the smallest of all nations. Rather, it was simply that the Lord loves you, and he was keeping the oath he had sworn to your ancestors. Well, let me summarize it this way. There was nothing inherently special about the people group that we read about in the Old Testament. They were not the biggest, or the fastest, or the largest, or the most inherently holy, whatever that means. They were not this, they were not that, and they certainly weren't everything else. God rescued them simply because he promised that he would. That promise, we're told, applies to us today through the person of Jesus. When you choose to follow the ways of Jesus, you can confidently know that God loves you and has chosen you. What assumptions of God have you been operating under? Maybe it's, I'm not good enough, or I'm not holy enough, or I've done too many bad things. Well, stop it. <laughs> God made this promise thousands of years ago and then reaffirmed it with the life, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We have been chosen. You have been chosen. God wants you in his family. What hope we have. See you next time.